Why? So this controversy exists for, for a long time, whether patients should have lobectomy versus total thyroidectomy. And I believe that that that's still, uh, that because there was a lot of conflicting uh, data on both, uh, for, for both approaches. So first of all, that there was no uh, really uh, randomized controlled uh, trials were not done, and they are not feasible at this point for uh, those for these patients. There is significant selection bias um, in the, all that retrospective um, studies that were done um, for patients with total thyroidectomy and lobectomy. There is also different level of surgical experience and preoperative evaluation uh, that actually evolved over time. Uh, also, so um, that's why there is still a lot of um, conflicting data in this uh, in this area. And what are the future direction in the field? For, we also will need to further explore the role of molecular markers to determine the need for completion thyroidectomy and for indications for uh, total thyroidectomy versus uh, lobectomy upfront. And also, we also need to determine oncological outcomes in patient in combination of these adverse features. What does it mean to have uh, multifocal disease with mild extra thyroid extension with some degree of vascular invasion? Uh, so all and maybe add into that molecular matrix. So there's definitely a lot of work that needs to be done. I think.